Welcome back to the GSL. I'm Tasteless, and with me is Artosis. And we're going to go on to our final best of three. Yes. I, uh, I'm very sad, though. I'm sad, too, I'm man. Sad that I love Rank that guy. got eliminated. I hope that uh, he comes back and plays in the next one. It's going to be a little bit different, though. He's not Code S, so he's going to have to qualify yeah. up. It's going to maybe take a little he bit. He will at least be, um, what, Code A? No, Code B. Code B? Yeah, unless he gets one of the invites for Code A. Oh, we'll, right. We'll explain right, right. that whole system more. Yeah, later, that's, but, we have uh, a complex system Point based, he's not, he's not in Code A, I don't believe. So. All right. Um, anyways, too bad we got that is your friend lose, but we're going on to the next game. Uh, we have JSL against Hungen Prime, yeah. and I think this might be um, possibly one of the closest matches because uh, Hungen Prime, as you guys have probably seen if you've been following previous GSLs, is a very creative, highly intelligent Protoss. Um, a lot of people are really intimidated by him. He's right up there with you know maybe like one or two ranks down below Next Genius, but he's a real solid Protoss. And then we have JSL. Who's kind of this dark horse who's playing yeah. really well. He eliminated Nada before he even got to the round of 64. Hmm. And if you eliminate Nada, uh, that means you're pretty good. It's true. That's how you pass the pretty Nada good test. Nada don't lose to just anybody. That's right. And, no, um, he does not. Also, Artosis, I have some nice warm water thank, for thank you. Thank you, Because the cold weather, not exactly good for the throat. Um, thank you, by the way, John, for that. Here they are. Uh, we have Hungan Prime on our left, a very good Protoss player. But JSL on our right there has taken out Kyrix and Nada. And I have to say, yeah. just by watching his play, not just based upon the players he's taken out, I think he is quietly one of the very best players in this tournament. Yeah, I think he's going to have the and rainbow factor on his side. Uh, yeah, he's... We're kind of like, oh, I wonder how far this is You know, no one's really like, good. oh, JSL's going to win. But this guy's actually really, really good. And I think he's going to actually beat Hongan. That is my prediction. I truly would be surprised if he lost to Hongan after killing some of the big names he has so far. Yeah. With his beautiful play that we've seen, you know, from the beginning. Well, he's just... He looks so clean. His micro's really good. His build's really good. And um, I'm really curious. Hongan Prime, though, he's a very confident player. Um, and he didn't seem to be too nervous beforehand when I saw him backstage in the makeup room. Yeah. 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 But you guys know that? We all have makeup on. I don't. I don't. But everybody else look does. Good. I actually always look like I don't have any acne at all. And that I... Uh, my face is always somewhat tame. My hair always looks like this, too. You know, I don't... Your hair... Looks like uh, my hair looked in eighth grade or so. Does it? No, Actually, I, th I think when I was that. in seventh grade, I think my hair looked exactly like this. I need to get a haircut. Yeah. It's getting a little poopy. When my mom still combed my hair, that's <laughs> that's what it looked like. Here's the map lineup: Lost Temple, Delta Quadrant, and Jungle Basin. All right. Well, uh, you know, some pretty decent maps overall. Jungle Basin may be pretty good for Hong and Lost Temple may be pretty good for JSL and Delta Quadrant. We only see really weird Terran Versus on that map. Uh, you Terran... Yeah, yeah. I mean Terran Versus yeah, Protosses. Terran Versus You actually almost tricked me for a second. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Did you know Hongan is Zerg now? <laughs> no. As you can see, a ton of fans. It oh, looks wow. like they're making out. The two faces are making out. People get in action here at the GSO. Oh, they're doing it again. Oh. Wow. I am just getting all hot and bothered here at the GSL. That's what does it for you, That's Tasteless. what does it for me. Starcraft and making out. Woo. Yep. Um, all right. I don't even know. What are we talking about? I don't know. Where I are don't we? know. That totally distracted me. Um, we're going to get this game started in a little bit here. Um, by the wait. way, if you guys ever want to come down here, you can come into the studio. The entrance is free. Of course, live streaming, um, watching the games is free. Yep. Encourage your friends to check out um, the premium service. But enough about that stuff. Let's get on to this TVP. No turning back now. The game has started. Hung and Prime over here at the far left. We have in a female voice. Hung Prime V. I botched that one. Yeah, you did. I'm sorry. You don't know where you are, do you? I don't know, man. All right, Hung and Prime, a very solid Protoss player. One of the few left in the tournament. Down here, the dark horse uh, of the GSL. He's taken out a lot of very good players. He looks pretty sick. And he's... Yeah. Definitely he's he's a pretty good. sick Terran, man. 
He's had great games so far, and I expect him to continue because he was a StarCraft 1 Pro Gamer. Went That's by right. uh, the alias uh, Joker Game I. Really good player, actually. Didn't have any accomplishments, but uh, still, I, I whenever I caught a replay tasteless, I was like, oh, wow, this guy's quite good. Yeah, this guy had quite a reputation at StarCraft 1. Um, which has been very solid. One of those guys you want to train with. I didn't actually expect him to get that, that far in, uh, you know, when I saw the brackets before the round of 64, but mm. I am well, he figured okay out, saying I am wrong. <laughs> yeah, you know, he figured out Kyrix's style. Uh, that's something I actually had predicted to happen in round two of GSL2, but he made it all the way to the round of eight and then won the G-Stars Invitational, so it took a little longer than I was expecting, but... Uh, well, the metagame's changing so fast. You know, with mm. replays, um, not not of this tournament obviously being available, but so many replays are out there, uh, so many VODs, and of course you can stock people's build orders online. Yeah. Uh, that it's kind of, um, you know, it's, the metagame is changing quite quickly. You know, nowadays, though, the Korean teams all have, you know, 10 extra practice accounts on random IDs. Yeah. So uh, I had it doesn't get, work as well anymore. I had to get a different account. When I ladder, because my account ID was initially tasteless, and he would be like, "Oh, you're tasteless, you're really tasteless," and I'd be like, "Yeah," and they'd be like, "Oh, I love what you're doing at Glum TV," and I'd be like, "Thank you," and then I realized they built two gateways inside my main, and they just rush me yeah. and kill me, and then the replays post it somewhere on the internet. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I'm tired of that, Dan. I'm sorry, tasteless. That I had enough of that. <laughs> that was actually me. <laughs> um, so yeah, a lot of people out there using Smurfing IDs. Indeed. Uh, we do have JSL Zenith. We want to take a look at his base real quick. Uh, he is going for what looks like it's going to be a Marauder Expand. Good build order. Normally we'll see Concussive Shells and Marauders, but sometimes Stim and Marauders. Reaper, actually. Scouting Reaper first. Ah, uh, okay. That's pretty common, though, in this yeah, matchup, yeah. in this location, because the Reaper just, you can follow me on the screen, hops uh, this way and hops right up there. This uh, main for Protoss is actually a very difficult main to cover everywhere. You can also pull a Clyde and slip in over here. Clyde, the best player of the GSL, even though he doesn't win it. Yep. And, uh, oh, we're actually going to go ahead and have a second barracks go off for oh, This GSL. is interesting. We saw this more in Season 1 and 2. Hmm. People kind of strayed away from it after a while. Yeah, you know, uh, some of these more economy-heavy plays have been pretty popular, but uh, to each zone. And this Reaper might do pretty good. Well, he is charging out a sentry. You can actually just shoot down a sentry. You can, but there is a stalker out. Nice pull away by Hongun. Nice pull away again. Will the Reaper get any kills? He's going to have to get out of there. Nope. Nothing. Hongun Prime. Now, he is expanding over here. Let me grab a Terran structure and hit the V key. <laughs> he didn't get to see the expansion during that attack. Hmm. Ah, we do, in fact, have the expansion going up for our Terran player. Interesting. Yeah, and adding that third barracks, getting that reactor up before any upgrades. He sees that Nexus, realizes he is free to go ahead and expand as well. No, 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 he is, he is actually not seeing this Nexus. Oh, so the Reaper was right over there, too. Yeah, well, I did I, see just one check. gateway, so uh, he does know that... Well, I don't know what he does know. Well, it's hard to say. He, doesn't, seems to he doesn't truly know anything, but he can he can expect. Well, he didn't see much from the Protoss' tech tree. Mm. And we have triple gateway and a robo. That's uh, one of the best things you can do off one base. And yeah, he's going to have a second base up here pretty soon. You know, you got to get that robo out, see exactly what's going on. Good scan, sees that expansion. Also sees the robo and another gateway going up, so he knows exactly what's going on now. Hongun can't hide anything from the scan. You can't hide from scans. The all-powerful scan takes Well, you can. You just build it somewhere else on the map. Ha. Ha. Got you, Tasis. <laughs> you are wrong. Here comes the expansion. It's going to get up roughly the same time as the Protoss is. You can see only about 20, 30 minerals have been mined from this location. SCVs are going to be transferred. See? Yeah. I'm looking at clairvoyant here. <laughs> And we do have the factory going up here. Right down here. Both players controlling their respective uh, Zelnaga watchtowers. Now, I'm wondering, you know, when are we going to see Colossus text to? Terran is basically just using marauders and marines. Mm. 
I like the fact that he hasn't tech to Colossus yet. You know, he's it's such an expensive unit. Oh yeah. Off two base, it's like really actually hard to go Colossus. Well, you're giving up so a lot few. of other stuff. Yeah, but he gets his probes up first, which is really good. You know, he's got to get his economy going before he actually techs Colossus. There it is. Gonna tech to it now, but definitely with a solid economy at least. JSL moving out now. He may try to test his opponent's defenses. It's a very sentry heavy and just one stalker. So if he actually has good micro, as you know, he could yeah. pick up a lot of units. You know, I think what Hongan wants to do is if he attacks, cut the army in half, kill the right. front half with the zealots, back up, yeah. warp in more units, and should be fine. Starport on the way. Reactor over here. Probably going to see medevacs coming. JSL yep. will take out the destructible rocks, killing. The chance for this plant life to ever continue growing on the destructible rocks. Yeah, that's too bad. It's too bad if you're a weed on the destructible rocks. You don't have much of a future. Well, it becomes mulch, so you know. It's true. It's That's the circle of life, Simba. Life begot life. Now we have the... Um, this expansion's open. You know, I, I, I think I see what um, our Terran player is doing, and it's quite good. You just mass up Marines and Marauders and Medivacs, and because this map is pretty big and open, uh, you just try to... Uh, flank from all sides the mm. Protoss' army. That's right. And he'll eventually make uh, Vikings as well. You know, get a few right. backs out first so that they can pool energy. That's really important. They'll have more energy. You can stim more. You can heal more. And then he'll go ahead and tech into the Vikings. See, he scans. Sees Colossus are being made. Thermal Lance is being gotten. So He might get two Vikings out here right away. Yeah, he might switch over to Viking reasonably quick. In fact, he's going for a second Starport. Interesting. And he's actually going to go with two reactors as well. So he's going to super counter these Colossus. He realizes, okay, this is two base Colossus. If I destroy them quite hard, I should be good. But look at this. He's going to do a little drop, and this could be good because Hongan does not have any units in his main base. This drop could be very effective. The Protoss sees it. He could just go right for the uh, the Nexus here. And that's what he's going to do. Oh, no, he's going to go for this pylon. Excuse me, anticlimactic. Takes out a few pylons. Lifts his stuff up, gets out of there, doesn't take any damage. Beautifully done. Yeah, really nicely done. Supply blocking him. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's cranking out Vikings like a madman. Yeah, you know, that's that's the whole thing about this uh, the two-base Colossus build. But Hongan does have recourse. You know, he can go ahead, realize that there's a ton of Vikings, switch over, and go, you know, more, um, excuse me, uh, my brain is frozen. I'm, I'm ready, Artosis. Uh, we can wait. Immortals. The That's world it. is watching. <laughs> oh, God. No, but anyways, if you switch over to a bunch of Immortals and he has so many Vikings, then suddenly, I mean, have you ever seen Vikings land and try to fight Immortals? Oh, it's so It's funny. actually the funniest thing. It's so pitiful. Oh, another drop over here in the main. Good move right here. He might want to try to pick off some of these. Realizes there's too many. And he's just going to slow down this attack so he can get more Vikings. Beautiful move here. Nice play. By JSL. Taren got, yeah. went back to his main. He wanted to see if he could cover this. Wouldn't have been bad for him to, to uh, pull him in over here and then oh use the Vikings to take him out. Look at this. Picks it off from the side. Did some good damage to that first Colossus. Those two Marauders standing their ground. I don't know. Hungan's looking pretty yeah, good. Yeah, he's looking solid. As long as he keeps those Colossus. Colossi alive. Yeah, he's got to keep them alive. Here come the Vikings, though. Some wow. Good damage is being dealt. Thing nice is he doesn't control. have a lot of Marines and Marauders, so these Stalkers are still going to be an issue. Man, there's no way he's going to secure this position oh. on the low ground again. Oh, but by the way, down here is a drop. Oh, excellent. And at the same time, we have Hongan going up into his main base. Here come the SCVs. Beautiful forest fields. Taking out that uh, Colossus as quickly as possible. He's going to want to land these as well. Uh, well, we're going to have to see. Can he clean this up? Those I think the Terran is going to lose. Yeah. There it is. GG. You know, that was actually so well played. Yeah. By Hong. I'm really, really impressed because, you know, yeah. JSL has been impressing me. I really thought that he might be able to just destroy Hong. But... Silly me, man. Hong really very good control. Good he's, he's really timing. good, man. His expansion was up a little bit quicker. Yeah. And he really got everything going. You know, JSL played quite well, but just, it was close. It was actually a lot closer than it looked. He yeah. was dropping in the main base at the same time. 
you know, maybe if he hadn't done that, he would have had a little bit more, keep him down the ramp a little bit longer. But, uh, you know, Hongen played an excellent game, and he takes the first round. Next map is going to be Delta Quadrant. This can be hard for PVT. Yeah, it can be quite uh, tough. Delta Quadrant is a map. Uh, we do see a lot of different Protoss is, uh, rushing, warping in uh, onto different locations. A lot of different rushes. This is actually one of these maps I think we have the shortest PVTs on. Yeah. So um, there's well, stuff both races can do to hurt each other uh, early true. on. So um, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. I'm excited to see if uh, JSL is going to do what we always see Terrans do on this map, which yeah. is try to get up the ramp despite yeah. having centuries. Uh, I hope not. I hope that we see something with a little bit more uh, thought behind it. And I think we will. Yeah, I hope we do, actually. I never understood that. Two racks, cross your fingers, hope he doesn't stay. It's a strategy. Uh, the countdown started, so get ready for the second game. Can JSL come back, or will Hung and Prime make it all the way to the round of 16? We're going to find out soon. 